Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. Senator, that's one barometer that maybe the emotion can't o of, of the row leak can't override the cold, hard facts of what's happening to the family budget. You've been on Capitol Hill. You've witnessed the, you know, the emotional turmoil that they are trying to create. Will this work? No, Laura, it won't. They're looking for any harbor in the storm because they can see how unpopular Joe Biden and the Democratic agenda is. You know, first, they're saying that this is going to motivate so many of their far left progressive voters. Well, what do they think it will do to millions and millions of devout pro-life activists who have toiled in the vineyards for years to protect innocent unborn children to finally see the fruits of their labor. Our voters are going to be galvanized this fall if this opinion is in fact the final decision of the court. Second, for all those people who aren't activists on the issue, what do they think it's going to do when they see just how extreme Democrats have become supporting late term partial birth abortion and other gruesome practices? And then third, as you were saying with Kevin Hassett, for all voters, of course, there's still the fact that they can't afford gas or electricity or food. And they certainly can't afford to take the kids on summer vacation or put them in summer camp. They see crime in their streets. They see a border in chaos. So no, the Democrats are still on path to a, an electoral wipeout this fall. Now, uh, your colleague, Joe Manchin, he's always the focus of so much, uh, uh, you know, of consternation on both parties. But he said uh, when he was asked if Roe will be the defining issue this uh, November, this is what he said. Inflation is the number one driving factor, I believe, in my state. Right now, it's hurting everybody. Not just at the pump, but at the, uh, at the grocery store, at the drug store, at the pharmaceutical, everything they do. Well, the voters of West Virginia are overwhelmingly pro-life, are they not, Senator? He's listening to his constituents. They're watching uh, the bill at the gas pump. Yeah, there's no question about that, Laura. In fact, Joe and I were having a conversation today. We're talking about which state is more pro-life uh, or could claim the man mantle of most pro-life state in the union. And I think it's a close run thing between Arkansas and West Virginia. And what Joe hears in West Virginia is what I hear all across Arkansas. So many st families struggling in the last week of the month to pay the mortgage, to make the car payment, to pay the bills, to put food on the table, much less to have any extra money left over to save a little bit or to take the kids out to a movie or to go to a, on a summer vacation. And again, uh, that's the main issue, but there are other issues mm. as well, in addition to rising crime and a border and chaos. And, and again, if this is the final decision of the court, I think the Democrats will not be able to uh, conceal just how extreme they have become on the issue of abortion in recent years, far so, beyond where they were, or at least oh, where they no, said no. they were for the case, for the benefit of public opinion in the Clinton era, that abortion should be safe, legal, legal oh, and rare. No, that's way you couldn't out. find that... many Democratic senators today say it should be rare. No, they celebrate it and giving a standing ovation in Albany. Remember the New York uh, State Legislature celebrating standing ovation? Ralph Northam, we know the drill. Senator, great to see you tonight.